This is Flowers of Intelligence by Zenith. <laughs> Released in uh, 1996 on IST Records, a uh, sub-label of Industrial Strength Records. Zenith was an alias of Federico Franchi, an Italian producer mainly known as a pioneer within trance and early hard style. And as a kid I only knew him for his trance stuff that was like so strangely dark and moody. And it wasn't until much later that I discovered his uh, hardcore work. And the Flowers of Intelligence EP is a strange hardcore release indeed. Uh, all the tracks on it are long, introverted and hypnotic and totally unlike anything released at the time or after. Federico sadly passed away in 2018. And this has been by far the most difficult recreation video I've made. It's been a long time since I released a new recreation video and this track is to blame. Um, I quickly cracked the kick but I haven't been able to nail the lead sound. I've tried everything and I just can't get it right. Uh, I think he uh, used a Korg MS-20 uh, and I've been searching for one but I haven't been able to get a hold of one at a reasonable price. So rather than throwing in the towel I will still give it my best shot. Uh, the closest I can get is with the Axis Virus which is definitely not what Federico used but hopefully you will enjoy anyway. So uh, as usual Let's start with the drums. To create the kick, I start by making a zap sound on the Pro 1 by first driving the filter into self oscillation and then creating that zappy uh, laser sound by adjusting the envelopes. I select a single sap and then adjust the pitch slightly. After that I add some small room reverb to the sound. The next step is to add distortion and as usual I do this by overdriving the signal in the Mackey mixing console. Then some EQ, a little bit of compression, more EQ, and even more EQ, and a short flatback echo. Then I resample the kick on the Roland W30 sampler for some authentic 12 bit crunch. There we go. The background melody that runs through the whole track is actually a very simple sine wave and I just used Massive for this, actually. And here's how the lead riff goes. I start with a simple pulse wave on the Virus TI. Add some noisy FM, a little bit of LFO modulation on the pitch. Most of the character in this sound comes from the distortion and the filter resonance, and you will hear that later when I play the full track. But first some EQ, and here's the distortion. EQ more EQ, reverb and delay, and finally some other sounds. Mm -hmm. 